24 and painful years for Brazilian football fans. For all the Samba style in the world, the most famous footballing nation of them all has failed to get its hands on the World Cup trophy since 1970s win against Italy. However, now into the last eight of the competition and with their forward play flowing, Brazil must now fancy their chances. Today, a tough test. The opponents, the Netherlands, coming close on several occasions since of course, uh, having plenty of talented players at their disposal. Look out for Bergkamp, Overmars, Winter, and, of course, Frank Reichard leading the challenge from further back. But for Brazil, Rai from Paris Saint-Germain came here as the captain. He has to settle for a place on the bench again today as Dunga is in the side. He leads them, but it's the attack of Bebeto and Romario that everybody's talking about. Goals can all so far, and they'll be hoping for more of the same today. There is Dick Advocat, the uh, Dutch coach. All ready for kickoff with so much at stake. Carlos Alberto Pereira, of course, is the Brazilian coach.
referee today comes from Costa Rica. Rodrigo Badilla Seguera is in charge of this match. Since 1974 gets underway. The last time they met in that second group stage match, Johan Cruyff and Co. won the game to advance to the final in the then World Cup format. Brazil, having not won the competition since 1970, will be hoping for success today. That might lead them into the last four. Brazil, by the way, in the chain strips of all blue. The Dutch also having chain shirts. They played white today and kicked from left to right. Touch the Dunga, their stand-in captain. Vai, the midfielder who was uh, taken out of the side after things didn't go as uh, exceptionally well as they hoped for in the early group games. They've since uh, got into free-flowing attacking mode, though, and as you can hear, are backed by plenty of fervent fans here in Dallas. Here's Ronald Coleman. The ball past his club teammate, in fact, Romario. They both play for Barcelona and Spain. There's a ball looking for Arden Winter. This now is Raikov. Match number five, Rob Vichka. Heinz Burka. Thought that he might have won a throw. And then Jorginho is the man who picks up the ball. The Netherlands quite clearly with the talent at their disposal to lead Europe's challenge into the last four here. Brazil, by the way, are the only remaining South American nation. Early touch for Aldair. Santos, who plays in Italy with Roma. Brazilians claiming foul there. Burkat skips away with the ball there. He too is told to get up. Busy time for the referee before this time. Ronald Coleman does commit the foul, and it's Mazzino who hits the deck. Burkat leaving in the leg. Mazzino driving forward. Coleman. Dangerously leading with the elbow, though. Talking of elbows, that's the reason that this man, Marco Branca, is playing. Leonardo with an uncharacteristic display of aggression against Tad Ramos of the USA in the last round. Veteran Branco into the side and strikes this. What's his speciality? And free kick from long distance. Nowadays playing for Fluminense. Three players in the starting 11 today to represent Brazilian teams. Palmeiras and Zinho playing for them. And of course, Mazinho. Two representatives of the southern Brazilian team. Here's Aldair. Marcio Santos, who also plays in Europe with uh, Girondin de Bordeaux in France. And Vossel attempting to put under pressure. Well, that it will come forward. Now Burkett steaming forward. It was brought down. I think it was Marcio Santos who committed the foul. And the Internationale striker. to be heading straight towards goal there. Picked up the ball and uh, well, with his big frame, an almost unstoppable force when he goes forward. Talking of big presences, this is Ronald Koeman of Barcelona who can certainly hit a free kick. Dunga and Mauro Silva in the wall. It is Coleman. That's it, well. 
He didn't touch the Brazilian defender. Venomously struck from a long, long way out there by Kona. Dunga for Brazil. For Mario. Bebeto's on the floor there. Quite sure what's been given. Deportivo La Coruña striker. Explaining that his, uh, his boot had been kicked off. There's Ed de Huy. Not had to touch the ball yet. Fine old goalkeeper. Might be expected to have a busy afternoon though against the Brazilians. As this has been a World Cup dominated by European nations thus far. Brazil, the only South American team left, and they're the uh, only non-European team left now. Certainly after they put the hosts at the USA in the second round. Perhaps a little less flair than their predecessors, but uh, plenty of steel in this Brazilian side. And going forward, they uh, certainly know where the goal is. Roberto and Romario, maybe the exceptions. The phrase I just uttered. Poor touch off Rykov. Oh, very, very, very good defending. Coleman now. Pointless ball from him. It's in the hands of Taparel. Dunga. Tomaro Silva. Alday. Fadel, who plays for Reggiano in Italy. Dunga has his football in Germany. Stuttgart, his team. Offside. Roberto's movement right in front of the assistant referee. Those referee and assistants uh, continue to wear the change colours that uh, have been experimented with in this World Cup. As you might expect from the United States of America, it has been innovative with several rule changes and even shirt changes for the referees. Now here come the Dutch. Van Vossen chasing this one. That's for Dokovic so far. Oh, he protests innocence. It's Marco Branca who's on the floor. His left ankle that's the problem. So here's the incident again. And Boston. Well, perhaps there was contact, I think. Certainly, perhaps, uh, not as forceful as Marco Branco was suggesting that. Coleman. This place pass really puts Rykov into trouble. And Mario trying to win the ball. He's a prolific goal scorer, but also a feisty character as well, where the physical challenge is concerned. Branca cleans up for Brazil. It's much more methodical, this Brazilian team, under Carlos Alberto Pareda. Brazil hoping to reach the semi-finals for the first time since 1970. The Dutch, on the other hand, surprisingly finished second to Saudi Arabia in the first group. Injured Marco van Basten is out, and uh, Ruud Hullet having quit the squad after falling up to the coach. Perhaps causing problems, but they still have the talent. Always have been a talented footballing nation. Certainly showed that in the last 20 or 30 years or so. Unlucky in the final on two occasions. Coleman not in agreement with the referee, not for the first time in his career. Dunga saying he didn't dive. Coleman suggesting he did. He might have been right as well. Aldair. Towards Romario. 
Nicely won by Rob Vichka. And here's Rykov. Ten minutes gone. A real clear-cut chances for either side. So much at stake here, as you might expect, a little nervy in the opening exchanges. Well, in the last round, we mentioned that Brazil overcame the United States of America. For the Dutch, two first half goals, enough to see Holland pass the Republic of Ireland in the second round. And into this quarter-final clash with Brazil. Aldaia's ball. Hits for the run of Bebeto. He certainly has a very good understanding his fellow strike partner Romario. Used to play together when Brazil and Vasco da Gama. Now fighting it out for European League glory on the opposite sides of northern Spain. Bebeto's in Galicia with Depor. Romario plays for Barcelona in the northeastern region of Catalonia. All not arriving at either of their feet on that occasion. Michael Branco there has won a free kick. Organisation time for Ed De Huy. Overmars joined in the war by Vignoc. Should have perhaps been an easy clearance than it seemed there. Brazil still have the opportunity and take the throw quickly. Romario's header on. <laughs> Aldo Santos. Get at the heart of everything that starts from the back for Brazil. Everything does seem to go through him. Defender always makes himself available to play the ball. I'm afraid that's how interesting the opening exchanges of the football have been. Not too much on show thus far from these two great footballing nations. Fingers run uh, rather fruitless one. Well, the locals have also bought into this tournament fantastically well. There's plenty of bits of uh, orange and gold dotted around, representing the uh, two nations on show here. So lots of Americans who have brought into this uh, soccer tournament, as they call it. Initial fears that that might not be the case. They're being well and truly put to bed. Dunga. And watched all the way. Coleman finishes the cleaning up job. Frank Rykov. Rykov, one of her three Ajax players here. Overmars and Van Bossen, the others. Those two really yet to get involved in the game. Here's Bergkamp. Backs up with uh, Jorginho. Marcio Santos getting in the way. Doing very, very well indeed. Very gritty and gutsy defending. Winter. The possession retention by the Dutch in the face of plenty of aggression from the Brazilians. So that's Mark Overmars. An attacking winger who uh, has been causing plenty of people to sit up and uh, take a look around Europe. Franco has been fouled, a veteran of Mexico, 86. 
Russell's already said that he's in the side today in place of the suspended Leonardo. Ball looks for Romario. He's unable to claim anything more. That's a bit of excitement, really, for Brazil. Stan Valix. Fairly happy in the end. There was nothing doing there. His presence just enough to put off Romario. Both Romario and Bebeto, a lethal pairing here. They've already contributed to five of Brazil's seven goals in the tournament. And Bebeto was the man that got the winner against the hosts in the last round. Icard takes down. Dean gets well intercepted by Van Vossen. Well, here's Jorginho. Bayern Munich fullback finds uh, Marcio Santos. Silva. Here's Dunga now. He's all showing patience in possession. Patience that they might need at the minute because the final ball's not coming. And Dehuy untested really as of yet. with forwards such as Bears, Bergkamp and Mark Overmars have uh, an undeniable attacking threat. Going into this quarter-final contest, really remains to be seen how the defence will cope. How will Valtus cope? How will Coleman get on now with his advancing years? Yes, uh, Brazil have a quick-footed and quick-thinking attack with Bebeto and Romario. Having played together previously, they have the telepathy that goes with it too. Now Maro Silva against possession well. Thanks for those running blue to attack. Bebeto's ball out wide. And Mario waits at the centre, it's well intercepted. Vitska. On the run on two for Dennis Birdcap now. Up against Marcio Santos. Mario Silva's there, we'll be able to win the header, but little does it matter anyway. Claudio Tafarel, one of the top-rated Brazilian goalkeepers of all time thus far in his career. Showed great promise in a position where uh, Brazilians have traditionally lacked quality. Confirmation of the offside. Branco. And to keep the ball in play, Mano Silva helps him out. Now Aldai. And a right card for the Netherlands. Thanks now for Peter Van Vossen. He feels he's fouled, but it's gone the opposite way. Mauro Silva going down. A clash between those two, not for the first time today. A glimpse of the Orania supporters. Let's see if they had a reason to be unhappy with things. Well, Mauro Silva for one, perhaps in the way obstructing. Van Vossen certainly had his hands all over him. And you can see going both ways. Depending on which side of bed the referee got out in the morning, I think. Oh, 
Adam Minter with the throw. There's Dennis Bergkamp. Marcel Santos doing well to turn him. Just about 20 minutes gone here. Netherlands nil, Brazil nil in this World Cup quarter final. It's a slow burner, yet to explode into life. Let's hope that it does at certainly some stage during this game. Two 11s of great quality and, of course, great history and prestige to defend. Dunga. Mauro Silva takes control, takes it down. Marcio Santos, though, forced him all the way back to Tafarel. Dunga picks up. It is his job there to sweep up, pick up the pieces and ensure that Brazil retain possession. And so that people such as Romario can do the damage. Here is Romario. Looks to get a shot away. Just about bounces in front of Ed Dehuy. On either side of him might have caused him problems. Straight at the uh, final goalkeeper. Would have been to the surprise of just about everybody watching on the planet and that got past him. Correct the infringement there. The referee so far hasn't found the need to delve into his pocket and get out the yellow card, which is good news. The sort of match where you really do want to all 11 players of each side on the field. Overmars skipping a nasty challenge there. High cards ball in. And Vossen was waiting at the far post. Here's Winter. Rob Vichka. And Valtas comes in to pick up. Vichka once more. Here's Stan Valix. Sporting Lisbon. Centre half with the ball forward. Virginia this time is the recipient of the free kick and Van Vossen in yet more trouble. Some more incidents off the ball than on it so far, Peter Van Vossen. Aldair. Brian Carr. And Walters. Here's Vichka. All the way back to Coleman. Arm Vinter. They can't look outside, doing well to keep possession here. De Hui. They're headed on. Easy enough for Coleman to pick up, though. Overmars lets it run because he knows the advantage will go to his team. Wind continues to blow here at pitch level, by the way. Rumbling away in our FX microphones pitch side at this cotton ball. Sort of Dallas afternoon that could end up uh, with a rumble of thunder or two by the evening. It's been clowning over as the day's gone ahead. It's Mark Overmox. Winter. Vichkina. Want support down the far side. Kirk Kat comes for it. This time he'll try and find the inter striker again. Van Vossen and Reichardt in the centre. Aldair well, saying it was a dive. And 
Van Rossen's hurt. A more clumsy more than anything from Alday. I'm sure Peter Van Rossen's felt worse at his time. Brian Roy warming up on the side. And this is Rob Vichka. Decent ball in. Oh my, oh my, that was a perfect opportunity to get a header on target. Dennis Bergkamp in front of his marker well. The way he met the ball, though. So it rising all the way. Marcio Santos for Brazil. He's Branca. Hopped on nicely. Branca gives it away, though, quite needlessly to Raikard, who's been just about everywhere so far. I just can't keep the ball. This is Coleman. Vichka himself available on the left hand side again to try and feed in Van Vossen. Doing this carelessness. Almost lets uh, Van Vossen in. Marcio Santos to the rescue. One of the top performers week in, week out in the French League. Need a ball to perform with. Finally, we get one back. Bitschka's ball. Papa Zilla had a cheekily claimed foul there. Andaya putting his head. Asking for dangerous play, but it's quite clear that both players were uh, entitled to go for the ball. And Vossen apologises. Mark over Mars goes over to deck the corner. Vinters forward. Time is a bit of pushing and shoving in there. Valix in particular. Here's Romario there. Zinha at wide. And he's hardly got involved in the play thus far. Dunga, very good, strong, almost crunching tackle in fact. Now Mazzinho. Safely in the arms of Ed de Huy. Bonham Coleman. That's Mazzinho. Just does enough physically to put off uh, his opponent on that far side. Well, here was the uh, possible evidence of any pushing and shoving. And it turned out to be a very good header away by Aldaye. Now Bebeto. Maro Silva. Brazilian supporters beat audible. Now Mara Silva to shoot. Oh, why not have a go? Certainly with a right foot as venomous as that. Strong, solid midfielder Silva. Another member of that Deportivo La Coruña side who really has been making waves in La Liga. He wasn't far from the top corner there. 
Even a missed chance is cause for celebration with some of those Brazilian supporters. So much colour, so much life. The party atmosphere indeed. Even though that could be half an hour gone. It's Brazil nil, the Netherlands nil. Chance in this last uh, 15 minutes before half time for one of these two sides to take control of things. Bebeto will have a second chance here. Looks to try and find Romario. Branco now. Bocat to pick up, but he's quickly dispossessed. Silva leaves it as Dunga shoots. This time, it certainly was a little optimistic. Well, they do have a collection of solid, steady midfielders here. in the header. Good catch control outside of Van Bossen. Referee content at the moment to let the physical challenges go. He wants that as part of the game, I think. A questionable incident when he felt three kicks could have been given. Certainly not to the detriment of the match. It's a very, very hotly contested affair here. It's yet to produce its best football, Vichka's ball. Another example of that, really, just drifting out. Or does it? Michael Branca is told that he got the final touch. Come now. Well, he's just about put wide by Dennis Birdcap. Well, with him on the ball, it's always worth an effort. Lovely control yet again. A real big part of his game. We've seen it so many times at Internationale in Serie A and in European football. Finishing is strong, but his awareness and control. Delicate touches in and around the area that often make chances out of nothing. Mauro Silva. Is it to Dunga? Helped on by Bebeto. Oh, Mario. Not quite alert enough there. Here's Coleman. Rykov. Ah! It sounded like it hurt. Van Vossen's down, Jorginho with a tackle from behind. He's being told no more of those from the referee and he might be considered a lucky boy. Certainly not to be placed into the book there. Let's have another look. Oh, he certainly is. Not something you want to see on a football field. It will have been the first booking. In the end, the three continues to let things go. Michael rather cleverly winning the foul. Michael saying he was climbed upon. Cats, it was the same opinion. Valdis. <laughs> 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 
Perez, Aaron Winter comes across to take the throw. As we take a look at a ponderous Carlos Alberto Pereira, the rest of the Brazilian staff. Perhaps more to ponder in a positive fashion here as Brazil come forward. Up to gain onto the feet of Romario. Good control. Well, that is until the referee says he handles it. Aaron Winter getting away with that one. So approaching half time, Brazil nil, Netherlands nil. Here's Peter van Vossen doing his best to try and create something all game long. So far without much success, really. Coleman, the captain. Now to right car. It's been the case in both sets uh, of teams play. Plenty of positivity in the midfield. Physical aspects there, the bites there, and of course the will to win. But that final ball is what's been missing. Aldair. A long way away from the sort of ball that Romario was expecting. Stan Volex. Picked up by Aldai. Marcia Santos now. Vunga. Mazzino. Weaving in and out well. Now Bebeto. This is better from Brazil. Mario coming back for the ball. Dunga though, not allowed to go anywhere. Romario, Bebeto now on the edge of the air is still going here. And he will win a free kick in a very, very dangerous position. And what a time to do so as well. Poaching the last few minutes of this first half. Bebeto is taken down. Mike Rijkaard looked on in dismay there. Not sure why he was late, and I think he knew it. Out oh, display of disappointment. It's more frustration than anything. Branco will certainly be one of the men who wants to have a go here. Dutch wall. Contains just about everybody on the side, but Beto is there as well. Blanco with the left, or Bebeto with the right. Take your pick. It is Branco who, instead of power, looked to try and float it. Luckily for the Dutch, they managed to get a touch. Corner will be there. Linesman from Bahrain. Yusuf Abdullah Al Gatan signifying that Brazil had the opportunity to put the ball in the box. Pedetto makes his way there. My God's forced to head away. Vinto will chase. Chase as well to save another corner. Good play by the young fullback. Silva. This is now Branco. Branco still going on the left here. Looks to get this ball in. Coleman heads away. Now Dunga. Well, that was hard. That was harsh. And Adam Vinter could well be the first man in the book here. He certainly is. 40 minutes gone. Branco down. Vinter clattering into it. No surprise to see him having his name taken down. Yellow card for Aaron Winter. Lazio player. 
and it's the thumbing in to men. Five minutes to get a half time in. Netherlands nil, Brazil nil. But it's Brazilian pressure towards the end of this first half. And he's making the Netherlands think about a thing or two. So Branco won't be on the field to take this one. Certainly a better angle for the right footed Bebeto anyway. Four possible men inside the box. Good strong header away came from Rijkaard. Aldair wasn't far away. Corner at his far side now. Zinho's going to take it. Left footed Zinho's ball in. There's the header. Flashes past the far post. This time it's Marcio Santos who's not far away. Well, Brazil creeping closer now. Zinho's corner a very good one. Look at this for a header. Change of position in mid-air. Would have been one of the goals of the tournament had it gone in. That support has started to worry a little. Understandably too. Right on. Can't quite get the ball back at the minute. And now here's Romario. Dangerous sight running at the defence if there ever was one. One back well by Dunga. Well, Mario again. Has the better on the right hand side. Chooses to go with Dunga there. That time the defensive midfielder's cross. Looks more like that of a defensive midfielder rather than the right winger who's waiting to cross it, Zinho. There's the aforementioned Zinho. In the meantime, the Dutch realizing that their team need the support. We can't look at the bench. I'm sure will be very happy to get the half time of the score at nil nil. He's not quite yet flowing, having just about to the lion share of the chances. Rahui <laughs> clearing under pressure from the better. There's Binter now, put into the book just a couple of moments ago. Strong tackle from Branco, who's back on the field. Almost lets him Romario. He, though, is pulled up for a foul on Maddox. Now, here's the incident again. Maddox going down. Question is, was there contact? Certainly had to suspect there was. Certainly a very risky business throwing yourself on the floor with Romario standing down the height. With Vinter. Now Vichka. And Vossen. Valdis. to chase on the far side. I think it's Jorginho. It's been a real good battle between those two so far. No outright winner as of yet. Just went to the last minute of his first half. Decent ball in. White card there, challenging. This is an example in this first half of a box-to-box -box midfield performance. He's been just about everywhere when the Dutch have needed him. A real positive impact as far as the scoreline just yet, though. Chance for Tafferell to be tested before the uh, half is out. Something that hasn't happened yet. That's a poor ball from Bergkamp, though. Dunga. 
alive and alert to it. Luke Camp will get another chance. In terms of defensive displays, it's back from the events we've seen from Brazil or any team in this tournament. Dutch really have not had a sniff. Vichka. Now Burka tries his luck from the left hand side. I think it's Aldair. Referee says no foul, and Brazil are free to break here now into stoppage time. That's your Santos coming forward. Zinho. Romario now. Romario up wide. And it ends in disappointment for the Celestial. Of aptly dressed Canarinha fans almost sent into life there. Zinha doing his best to get involved. Lovely turn to leave uh, Coleman out of the equation. Dunga. Time for a free kick for the Dutch before the half's out. <laughs> Seem happy to take the time. Coleman's ball helped on the chest of Burkett. Holders looking to get on the end of it, but Branco's there to clear. Been a good combative first half performance from Dunga, it has to be said. Been first to the ball whenever his services have been required. Looking to find Burkamp. Tries to weave his way through. And in doing so, he's fouled. Burkamp saying that's not the first time he's been brought down, certainly by Branco, who suggests his own shirt's being pulled. <laughs> Branco, in fact, was doing all the shirt pulling himself. So Vignoc's free kick. Towards goal by Rijkaard. That's for Coleman now. And there goes the half time whistle. Certainly not exploded into life yet, but plenty of quality and possibilities bubbling under. We'll see in the second half if it comes to boiling point. At half time here in the World Cup quarter final in Dallas, it is Brazil nil, Netherlands nil.
Welcome back to the Cotton Bowl here in Dallas. 0-0 between Brazil and the Netherlands in this World Cup quarter-final. Plenty to speak about there. Plenty of action bubbling under towards the end of the first half. A very physical contest it's been. Little bits of quality starting to shine through. Let's hope that uh, upward positive trend continues at the start of this second half. Certainly so much talent in these two teams. As you'll remember, the whole continent behind them, perhaps the whole rest of the world behind them, the only non-European side left in this USA 94 tournament. I'll die here. Welcome back to the Cotton Bowl here in Dallas. 0-0 between Brazil and the Netherlands in this World Cup quarter-final. Plenty to speak about there. Plenty of action bubbling under towards the end of the first half. A very physical contest it's been. Little bits of quality starting to shine through. Let's hope that uh, upward positive trend continues at the start of this second half. Certainly so much talent in these two teams. As you'll remember... And the whole continent behind them, perhaps the whole rest of the world behind them, the only non-European side left in this USA 94 tournament. Aldair is the first man to be penalised in the second half for fouling Dennis Birdcamp. And Samoli looking at the ball for Tafarel to do. Here's Vim Yonk. Ball hangs high and hung for a long time, in fact, with Frank Reichard under it. Suggesting his shirt was being tucked. Quick word with our, our Costa Rican referee today, Senor Rodrigo Badilla Sequeira.
Here's Mauro Silva. Combative presence alongside that of Dunga in the first half. Help control the midfield for the Brazilians. Of course, with that midfield control, they were hoping to use it as a platform with which to get Bebeto and Romario much more involved. Not too much of Zinho or Mazinho in the first half. There is Romario being hacked to the floor. Stan Vanix is the offender. Certainly was late. Right in front of the referee as well. Not sure he expected to get away with that one. Taken quickly, looking for the quick run of Romario. Doing this free kick, not doing it though. And Valters can come away with the ball. Finds Rykov. Mintas is ahead of him. And then goes back towards Valters. To Coleman. Here's Van Vossen. Frustrating first half for him. Dunga. Benito helps it on. Here comes the run. Quick turn, and in the end, between the two central defenders, they just about managed to thwart Romario in his advance. Early signs of excitement there for Brazil. Exactly what all neutrals are wanting to see here. Good, strong, solid header away from Aldair. Here's Bergkamp. Bebeto for Brazil. Dunga. Coleman. Dutch themselves will feel they have plenty to build on after uh, holding Brazil in this first half. Now at the start of the second, want to try and uh, put their attacking talents on show. Can they hold solid once more though as Romario comes forward? Coleman with the ball away. Quite intelligently straight to the feet of Rijkaard, who now in turn finds Winter. 27-year-old Lazio fullback coming forward. Clever play by Rykov. Dutch and Ajax number three. Rob Vichka. Inside awards Servim Jong. Didn't see too much of the ball in the opening 45 minutes. It was the domination of the Brazilians. Now's a chance here. Bebeto on this right-hand side, Romario's in the centre. Zinha looking to arrive. Ed Duhui gets there first. Much better from Brazil. Starting already to see a little more fluidity in their attacking. Well, the less said about that, perhaps the better. This is what happened the other end, though. Bebeto, control ball to the far side. Zinha striding in there. Oh, that front three. He has been alert to whatever's been thrown at him so far, which uh, hasn't been a great deal. It's going to be said of uh, Tafaril. Brazilian keeper yet with a save to make, by the way. Vignoc for the Netherlands. Lucent ball as Tafarel is quickly onto it. And just as quickly gets Brazil started again with Mark Olvermars trying to uh, push the Dutch uh, interests forward. Mauro Silva. It's now Mazzini. Helped on nicely. Really does cover a heck of a lot of distance during a match, Mauro Silva. Himself and Dunga. How much the motors on which this Brazilian team is built. Mazinho. Takes control again. He's a ball inside looking for Branco. 
And now Burkamp for the Netherlands. Here's right card striding forward now. More promising for the Europeans here. And that is until Mauricio Santos got in the way. But watch out, here's Bebeto. Romario's in the centre, the ball square, and it's 1-0. Romario with his fourth goal in five World Cup games. Samba celebrations begin. It was an explosive break, and Brazil are ahead. And it all came from a Dutch attempt to attack. Brazil for once playing on the counter. And to devastating effect. Yet another goal to add to the ever-increasing tally of Romario. And it's his partner in crime who provides the assist. Bebeto's perfect ball, expertly turned past Ed who had no chance. It is Brazil 1, Netherlands 0, 52 minutes into this World Cup quarter-final. It's an image that has been replayed time and time again throughout this World Cup on television screens. Romario wheeling off to celebrate, and this uh, last eight match in Dallas is no different. We've been waiting for it to kick it alive. That is the spark. Well, then, how can the Dutch react? And they need to react. This is knockout football, remember. The job was done in the opening 45 minutes against the Republic of Ireland the other day. This, though, a very different situation against a very different calibre of opposition. Frank Rijkaard. Never attempt to put the ball forward. Aldair was there to cut it out there. And there's Romario set free again. Ed Dehuy had to be just as quick off his line. So, an immediate change is an immediate response. Brian Roy. Dutch striker who plies his trade for Forja in Italy. Replaces the uh, fairly ineffective Peter Van Vossen. Certainly no uh, lack of trying on his part. Roy, a very different player. A more technical. Let's see if he has what it takes to get the better of Brazil. But that's will need the ball there first. Over Mars Fouts. And well, with the introduction of Brian Roy, introduced at a time when all the good Dutch work has been undone, really. The Orania now must find the net themselves if they avoid having to board the plane home after this match. in turn will be hoping to use the goal as a foothold in the match and to try and build some more confident attacking and a ball retention play well this was the goal again the better at least was onside of course with the new rules coming in a question let's not to provoke debate whether uh, Romario was interfering at the time the ball was played because he looked to be in an offside position in the meantime Linesman flag is raised once again. Coleman with that many delay. Jorginho helped on nicely now. Has had to defend throughout this game. It's his first chance to get forward, really. Decent ball in for Bebeto. Skims off the outside of the post. So, so close to that, the lead. Good pace shown by Bebeto to get inside. Coleman was coming across quickly. And proof that the post, in the end, was struck. Aldaya's uh, touch on the ball. Wonderful work by Romario. Gain help forward. He feels he's pushed. 
Referee says play on. It's going to be a difficult second half for Stan Valix and Ronald Coleman, that's sure. Here's Vignon. Finds Overmars. Third cap. That's hardly had a sniff of the ball at the start of the second half. Jorginho again, suddenly with the will to get forward and finding Romario. Romario now into the area, still going. And into who he having a thought. Well, Brazil, as we suspected, might be the case after getting one. They have now shifted into gear. The Netherlands must continue to attack, but also take care of what's behind them as well. It'll be a very, very fine balancing act for Digard the Gutsmith. Well, the second wasn't far away yet. Valik's done for pace. And Dehuy read it well. and hope than anything else. Yonk. Right on, makes himself available. Brian Roy wants the ball. Hardly seen it since coming up. It's been all Brazil since the goal. Rob Vichkina. Disappointment for the new man. 24 years of age, the Dutchman. As you see, the orange, yellow, and green all blending together rather nicely. We'll come here to enjoy this World Cup quarter final. The minute the Brazilians enjoying it marginally the better. A little reckless there from Marcio Santos. Got away with it by virtue of the Dutch having the ball. Brazilians win it back now with Dunga. This is now Romario. Helped in by Zinho. Romario was waiting again to retain the ball. And it was well played by Vinta. Time to lament things too much. There's a long, long way to go yet. Into with a lot of menacing look over there to the Brazilian fans. Well, understandably wanted the ball back. Oh, finds Valix. Here is York. This ball looking for Roy. It was acknowledged by the Forger forward. Marcel Santos gives it away. Here's Aaron Binter now. Well, Mario. But this is such great control, the ball. It's taken down with the head, chest, or feet. It seems to stick to it. Mauro Silva. Jorginho. There's Bebeto. And there is Aaron Vinter. Yeah. 
Dunga now for Brazil. Bebeto, Bebeto still going onside, and it's 2-0. Time to rock the baby. Bebeto's made it two, and Brazil really all partying now. Dutch defence going to sleep. I have a feeling it's something to do with the offside rule. A fatal pause from the Dutch defence has let Bebeto in. And I think they thought that Romario was offside. Dick Advocat certainly not happy. We'll have to wait till we see the replay. Here we go. Bebeto takes down. And I'm afraid that out of your picture, there's a big illustration of how the new offside rule works. An even bigger one, perhaps, of how little some of the players involved understand it. Romario coming back from an offside position, but not looking to get involved with play. That means he's not interfering as the rule goes. And while Bebeto, who is onside, is given free reign to put the ball in the back of the net. He does so with the light. Brazil are 2 0 up. And at the moment, they look to be cruising into the next round. They're enjoying playing together. Not too much enjoyment in the Dutch camp at the minute. Brazil 2, Netherlands 0. Less than 30 minutes remain. And the Dutch now need at least two goals if their World Cup 94 campaign is to continue. Ball inside for Burkamp now. Here's Burkamp! Well... Yet another twist, Dennis Burkamp. And less than 60 seconds after going two down, the Orania supporters have something finally to cheer about. So, so quiet in the second half so far. It's almost his first touch, in fact, since half time. And Dennis Burkamp halves the arrears to make it Brazil two, Netherlands one, and the Netherlands. About to bring into the action Ronald de Boer. So digest all that if you can. The minutes worth of action, two goals, and two big seesaws of how the match goes. Talked about the control in the first half. This time he capitalised on a defensive mistake. And the finish was there to match. Now, oh, finally, we can see Raikkonen replaced and Honor de Boer come on in his place. De Boer also of the Ajax club. His club teammate is taken out of the action. So here come Brazil again. Bursting into life into the second half of this game. Ronaldo, now Zinho. Is Roy. So De Boer, useful player who can uh, bring plenty to the course. All these fresh legs here on a very, very humid afternoon. Macio Santos, the man, failing to take control of the ball. And then the Brazilian defence will be very, very unhappy with, I'm sure. 25 minutes left. Netherlands won Brazil too. Jorginho. Here's Vichka. Yonk. Temps 
chance to help on to the substitute. Jorginho, though, will pick up. Heavily involved here in the second part of this game. For silly to give it away. Bimjok to shoot and Tafarel will smother. So where do we go next here? The Dutch with a uh, renewed sense of optimism and quite rightly after getting that goal. The only real chance that they've had in the second half. This is Wim Jonk's effort, trying to create something out of uh, not too much. Tafarel, you'd expect him to be equal to that. Jorginho, just about still motoring on. Now Mazzinho. Is possessed by Vichka, he can now set Burkab away. This is De Boer, and that was Aldaya. Dunga. Wasting no time. But despite the goal, they still trail 2 1. Needlessly given away there by Burkett. Dunga, as he does best, takes his time. No need to give possession away there. Yok. Find Vichka. That was his assist, by the way, for the Burkamp goal. Well, I'm sure we'll remain confident. We need to get the possession of the ball back. Very much in uh, favour of the team from Northern Europe. This is better, Vinta. Helps it wide now to Roy. Second goal score for Brazil, remember. Finds himself on the floor at the minute. Branco. Neto wondering why, in fact. Well, he wasn't allowed treatment. And two, he didn't get a foul. It's to be a problem that left knee for us. Referee going over to see what all the fuss is about. On will come the trainers and the stretcher should it be required. Certainly looks to be a problem. Causing him some pain down there. Such a shame for the game to lose uh, the player that's given it so much. Well, you can understand why he's in pain. Burkamp takes advantage to take on board some fluids and have a word in the ear from the coach. Bitschka will do the same. No prize for guessing who they're supporting. Miscommunication, Burkamp screamed at by his captain there. Until falling asleep perhaps during the move. Sports the Dutch to lose possession, finally won back. Coleman sets away Vimjok. Up top well. Eventually get a throw. Good period of Dutch possession this since the goal. Overmars leaves it close. Now with Vinter, 
Decent effort, well pushed away by Tafferell. In fact, it's the first decent save he's had to make. Now Burkett. Late legs eat on each other there. Much, much better for the Europeans. Jock. Helped on by Roy. They're chasing for that one. Well, here's the shot again. Certainly destined for the bottom corner, arrowed, in fact, by Aaron Winter. And well, well pushed away by Reggiana stopper Tafarel. Prize of Hope Hope Holland from the crowd. It's the Dutch team who've been in the ascendancy. Roy wins the throw. running at the Brazilian defence from that uh, standing off position. Almost a second strike, if you like. Overmars now. This is best to try and conjure something up. The next man back inside of him, York. York just turns inside Dunga, and that is a well-deserved free kick, and Dunga might be in trouble here. And he certainly is. Cynical pullback of an opponent. Just over a quarter of an hour left, Dunga, second man into the book today, follows Aaron Vintu as the only first half caution. And apart from the punishment of the yellow card, look at the position from which the Dutch can have a go at Tafferdell's goal. So a very useful one. <laughs> Coleman, no surprise to see him over it. Just asked for the ball to be back a full distance. Therefore, he's just going to indicate to them exactly where he thinks that should be. Ronald Coleman. Straight into the ball. Coleman still going. Aldair heads away. Corner kick. Not sure Mauro Silva was in agreement. Not in agreement with the rest of his defence either. Wants to push out. Overmars will take care. Played in. Just about clear. Oh, Looked to be some nastiness off the ball there. Bebeto involved. And as Romano was involved, the offside flag was up. So, quarter of an hour remain. At least another goal required for the Netherlands. Brazil will be hoping to hold out. Certainly with the uh, strong tide of uh, Dutch attacking play that is sweeping into the Brazilian defence. Burkamp now. Here's Burkamp again. Makes them handball. All they're going to get is corner. Dennis Burkamp is absolutely irate. Briefly threatened to reach for his pocket there, the man in charge. Brian Roy also suggests that the centre of American referee might have missed something. Over last corner yet again. Swung in, there's the header, and the Dutch are level. It's Arden Winter. Oh, what a second half of football. Brazil ahead and coasting two goals to nil. And within the space of 12 minutes, the Oranja are back level. Tafarel disappointed once more to see the ball float past him. This time it comes off the head of the Lazio man, Aaron Winter. Overmars corner, perfectly positioned. 
Tafarel thinks about coming. Makes a mistake in dallying and dallying. It's Brazil two, Netherlands two. It's game on with less than a quarter of an hour left in the World Cup quarter final. So, Netherlands two, Brazil two. Now, Branco. Free kick chance for him. We know that he can hit them. Here comes Branco. Looks to hit. Oh, the game requires a good save. Well, we saw it in the first half. Ed de Huy again having to be alert. Not just have been sneaking over, but de Huy taking no chances. Bebeto. Brazil hardly had an attack, by the way, since the Dutch scored their first goal. Replicated as uh, Mazzinho tries to find support. Headed away by second goal scorer Vinta. Those cries of Holland, Holland. Increase in volume. Offside. The loss disappointed, continuing the run, perhaps refusing to believe it for a moment or two. Three careful at the other end there. Mazzinho trying to influence things. Here's Aldair. This there is Adam Vinter. All the momentum with the Dutch team, remember. Some people may even make them favourites here. Found the form at just the right time in the match. Bergkamp can't, can't hold on. It was his goal. Just uh, less than 60 seconds after Bebeto had scored Brazilian second. He gave the Netherlands some sort of hope. That's it's been built on. In Bergkamp to go again. Looks for Brian Roy. Roy not too influential on the ball. His mere presence has caused Brazil problems, says uh, the man who was captain before this tournament started. He's about to be introduced to the Brazilian midfield. Yes, it's Paris Saint Germain's Rai. Romário. Branco now. Combative presence throughout this match to the Brazilian left back. It's a little too combative there as Overmars goes down. Branco not punished, but he himself has been taken down here. Brazil will have a free kick. I'm sure, by the way, that'll be fit enough to get up and take it in a minute. <laughs> Dutch players rather angry, in fact, about this. Well, there's no contact on the face. Although Overmars perhaps displayed that there was. However, contact when Branco went down was minimal. It's only really a questionable free kick. Rai comes on for Mazzinho, by the way. Mazzinho struggled to really make top effect in this match. Rai hoping to win back control of that midfield. So, Branco, as suspected, is up, fit and ready to take this. A little closer than the last one. Branco. Oh, it's in! Branco fires Brazil back into the lead. Well, many people questioning whether it's a free kick or not in the first place. It to who he disappointed. I wonder whether he should have got there. Not one of the most ferocious hits you'll ever see from the feet of Branco, but it's good enough to delight those Brazilian fans. Oh, it twists, it turns, it moves. I think I've done it in this service. No chance, said De Huy. The presence of Romario as well, right in front of the ball, can't help the goalkeeper. It is, in fact, a strike that may well be worthy of sending Brazil into the last four. And with less than ten minutes on the clock, Brazil leading again.
That could be, in all probability, what happens here in Dallas. So it's toed and froed on so many occasions here in the second half. What a match you've seen at the Cotton Bowl. Not all 22 of the players on the show here can be pardoned for leaving it until the second 45 to show us what they had. Because it has been mightily explosive when it's arrived. There could yet be something else. Claudio Branco only in the side, remember, because of Leonardo's suspension. What a solid game defensively. But of course, it's in that uh, potent free kick position with which he has made the difference. The last winners in 1970. It has been a long, long wait. Some pretty mediocre performances in the last few years for Brazil. But they're about to go back to the semi-finals of the competition for the first time since they did win it. Just minutes to hold on. Goal came at a vital time as well. Netherlands certainly very much the better team. Until uh, that foul that has a huge question mark hanging over it it was awarded in favour of Blanco by the Costa Rican referee. And we saw the result of it just a moment ago. Vichka. Coleman steps in to send the ball out wide. Rob Vichka again. Long ball that Taffer will be happy to leave. Long ball that won't help the Dutch attackers one bit. There's been really a let-up in the Samba beat throughout any of this match so far. Tambourines will continue to sound. Trumpets blowing all night long. That is unless Tafarel is beaten once again. Will this finally be there yet? Marcio Santos improvises to get the ball away. We'll give improvisation, there is Vignoc. That's well to keep it. Now Vinta, his second goal, so important for the Dutch. He's really making a game of it here. Have to find something else. Is it going to be Bergkamp that provides it? To try and find a 1-2 with Roll of the ball. It's a foul. All committed by Stambachs. So Netherlands 2, Brazil 3, into the 41st minute of the second half. Less than five remain. Perhaps a couple of minutes uh, stoppage time as well. The injury to the Bebeto that we had. So a couple of substitutions to factor it in and add to that. 30 seconds for substitution, they say, remember? All of that there at the referee's discretion. Ronald the ball wins the header. Vinter. Coleman as a Dutch try to ball forward in numbers now. Vimjok. Brazil remote to their uh, functional and defensive mode rather than the free fluid flowing attacks. Bebeto. Dutch cry handball, not given.
Liverpool climbing, towering head of Ayaldair. Dunga now gets it away. What is there left in this tank? Certainly given the physical conditions and the tough meteorological conditions out there, can't be too much energy left in either tank. Dutch have to want it there. Overmars now. Winter. Wayward ball by him. Decent play there. And too many Brazilian defenders involved. Dunga goes in two footed there. It's a little dangerous. Unless Mauro Silva comes away. Dennis Burkett is the offender. Stretch is required for Mauro Silva. Was it really required or is this an attempt to waste time? Well, certainly was contact there. Didn't seem altogether that fierce though. Yellow card. Flashed in the direction of Jan Volders. Surely there's something untoward, he said, that a referee regarding this situation that he would be in Brazil. To be wasting a little too much time. Meantime, we're about to see Cafu. He's telling the referee that it's number six that he's going to replace, and that would be the goal scoring hero for Brazil. Will be given a rousing reception by those South American supporters present. They're also already cheering the victory, by the way, as you can see. São Paulo's Marcos de Moraes Cafu, who will replace Branco. Branco, in the meantime, pretending not to know that it's uh, he's being replaced. Before he's booked on his way off, telling the referee that he's going to be replaced. Well, will there be time for the substitution? Not at the moment. The referee wants to play on. Romario. De Beto now. There's no score here, it will be over. Romario goes down. He looks round in amazement as no penalties given. Brazil can't afford to lemon it too much because the Dutch will break now. Dennis Burkamp looks to find Brian Roy. And that is a saving tackle from Jorginho. Finally, now, surely, the substitution will take place. Well, penalty or no penalty. It's so difficult to see from that angle. Finally, we see Cafu ready to enter the field of play. And Branco will trot off to be replaced. Wants to shake hands with the referee. And just about everybody on his way off. Rather cheekily of him. Finally is off, and finally it's time for Cafu to come into the action. Already into stoppage time, by the way, now. There will be a few minutes of it, I suspect. Malik heads away. Vinto wants to it's quite understandably a move on with things. Zinho's over there. Doing a no nonsense with his clearance.
Chance to take a look at Cafu. Well won by Coleman. Offside, surely. Well, Mario accepting he was offside very, very quickly there. As long as we want to take this quickly themselves. To Hui. Hoover and busily trying to get things restarted. And still have every Dutch shirt in the opposition half. Some of the Brazilian fans mistaken in thinking that the match was over. Offside flank had been seen by the referee. And in the third minute of stoppage time. Surely can't be too long left now. Rai chases the ball. They had a touch and it's coming up. Meantime, the Brazilian bench gesture towards the referee, pointing at imaginary watches. Bichka. Good, strong, ahead of by the defence. Several of them throwing themselves at the same ball there. Here comes Tafarel. And uh, as he came and missed with the corner, this time in the dying moments and embers of the match, comes and holds in a very, very difficult situation. Big ball forward from Richka. The ball getting clattering on the way through as well. Overmarch, look at the watch from the referee. Vinter now. Is the time for us to go to extra time? Roy, great desire to get to the ball. He finds Coleman who's forward. Overmarch will win a free kick. And it surely has to be all hands to the puck now for Brazilian defence. Quite the opposite of that, everybody will be forward for the Netherlands. Coleman will walk towards the ball. The end will be Vim Jok to send the ball in there. Marcel Santos heads away, shot. Shot from distance, this time it's Bebeto who gets down to stop the ball. Into the fifth minute of stoppage time here. Brazil three, Netherlands two. And there's the whistle. Or is it? It's another one that says offside. Celebrations again muted. There's Leonardo, by the way, down on the bench, who's suspended. Of course, it's his replacement that has got the goal that is most likely here to send Brazil into the final four, the semi finals. Long ball, still no whistle. Pepe to Romario. Gone back towards the fellow scorer. Romario tries to fit it through. Right, takes a swing at the ball. Aldair. Offside yet again. And once more, it's a false start as far as the Brazilian fans are concerned. Oh, more than five minutes here. And we suspected there'd be time added on, perhaps not as much. Jorginho understand will be taking his time, as will Tafarel. Mauro Silva saying it's over after this kick. Fourth official having a real big job on his hands, trying to contain everything. There is the final whistle, and almost six minutes of stoppage time later, Brazil hold on, and thanks to Branco's late free kick, have gone through and have reached the semi-finals of the World Cup. It's finished here in Dallas after an almightily entertaining second half. The Netherlands two, Brazil three, with the Dutch side on the way home, and the Brazilians back in the semi-finals for the first time since they last won it.
Netherlands 2, Brazil 3, here in Dallas.